Hi everyone and welcome back to Alicia FC. So tonight's video is a bit of a late one but Newcastle United have just announced that we have signed Jamal Lewis from Norwich on a five year deal for £15 million. So a little bit more than what we seem to look like we were going to pay for him. But it is a great signing for us. You know left back is something we need to strengthen in. Paul Dummett's kind of all over the place at the minute. It doesn't look like he would fill a full season at the minute. He is kind of touch and go with injuries. And is he getting that age where he's going to become more injury prone? You know, he has had a good run out at some points in a Newcastle shirt. But as players get older, especially in defensive positions, the way he plays, he is going to be injury prone. So we did need some fresh legs, a young lad to come in and learn and to take his place kind of but he has played in the Premier League and he had a good season with Norwich last season yes it did go down but it's experience for the lad you know he's only 22 he's a great prospect for the future at Newcastle United to be picking up players like this we kind of do the same with Murphy although we kind of went and loaned him out but I can see Lewis being more of a permanent fixture at the club I can see him going straight in that starting 11. To be honest, I could see him going for the starting place on Saturday. I think we could see most of our new signings playing. I think we could see Lewis, Wilson, Fraser, possibly Hendrick playing. We'll see. But it is a great addition to have to the squad nevertheless. And it's quite surprising for Newcastle to be going out and making sensible signings, signings for the future. If you look at all the players we've signed, they've been on five and four year contracts. So well, the last ones over the two days. And you look at that and you think, yeah, this is this is good, this is improvement, this is building for the future. This seems like a very much Steve Bruce kind of putting his stamp on it. It feels like he's getting more of a leeway with the players, players that seem to want to play for the club, you know. It looks like he really wants to improve. He wants to be one of the left, best left backs in the league. We need that kind of positivity from players. We need players that want to improve, that want to play in the Premier League, that are going to keep us up. And to be honest, I think he's going to be a great addition. I think we can see that we're going to go for a very pacey team next year, a very fast team. We'll see if what Rodrigo comes in may come over and play on that right side. I don't know if that's going to happen because we have spent quite a lot of money for us so far now a lot of teams haven't and for us to go out and spend 35 million yes Mike Ashley came out and said that's all we we're going to have to spend anyway and um, that was what the rumour was it's hard to see if we are going to sign Rodrigo you know I'd love it I'd love it as some backup options to have somebody there but we need to strengthen that defence just a little bit more but you look at that defence and you think how we're going to cope without Dubravka for the first couple of months it is going to be difficult that kind of has bolstered the defence a little bit I think if we get one more we should be alright but you can see the type of team we're going to be this year we're going to be the counter attacking team you score one we're going to score one more and that's all we can kind of hope for this season um, until we get a defence sorted but I'm not expecting us to go out and fix all of our problems in one transfer window. You look at the players we're trying to offload at the minute, the likes of DeAndre Edlin. I don't think, to be honest, he'll leave. I can't see him leaving without any more improvements because it would leave us quite short of players of much Premier League quality at the minute. So I think the best decision for him would be to stay at the minute, although I don't think he is the right fit in the minute for our team. I think he is going to have to stay. But Either way, Jamal Lewis, great signing for the club. Lots and lots of potential. You know, we're cracking on now with it. We're getting some good names through the door. Hopefully it continues. It probably won't now, but let's see. Let's see what else we can do. But I'm very, very happy with the signings we've made so far. Um, really, going in before this, I was worried for her. I was going, here comes the bottom three. But this could come back and backfire me and everyone could be laughing come the end of the season but I think this is getting us a bit more secure in the Premier League. Fingers crossed but let me know your thoughts as well in the comments below. Are you happy with this signing? 
what more would you like to see come through the door? Oh, we're starting to be greedy now as Newcastle fans. Kind of go, go a little bit over the top. But let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe as always. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.